about you? That you make stories. I make stories? Yes, that, that's true. Uh, <laughs> what else? I did not want to say it. What do we do? So a chiropractor is a doctor who takes care of the spine. So we take spines that are crooked and we make them straight. That's what we do. <laughs> so today we're going to read about Yertle the Turtle. Has anyone ever seen Yertle the Turtle? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Very good. One person, two, three, four, now six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right, awesome. So you're going to hear about Yertle the Turtle. And Yertle the Turtle happens to be king of the turtles. So the story begins. On the faraway land of Salama Sand, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond, it was clean, it was neat, the water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. So there's Mr. Yertle hanging out here, nice and happy. You didn't see it? All right, we will see. He's sitting right here on the rock. Can everybody see him? Oh, yeah. Right on the rock? There you go. All right. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. So he's hanging out over here on this little stone, and he's not very happy. This throne that I sit on is too low, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king, I'd be ruler of all I could see. So he had a wonderful idea. Can everybody see now, right? Yeah. All right. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone and using these turtles, he built a new throne. So he used his turtles to bring them up higher and higher and higher and higher. You see, I see that? Everyone see that? All right. He made each turtle stand on one another's back and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view, he could see most a mile. And look at him now, you see that? He's very high, very high, but he got nine turtles underneath. Let's see where this goes. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow, and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm your the turtle, or marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Do you guys see the cow? Do you guys see all the other animals? Yeah. That's what he's seeing. Now, and all through that morning, he sat there up high, saying over and over, a great king am I. Until long about noon, then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king. And he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. Just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I have pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? So, where is Mac? Does anybody see where Mac is at? Where is Mac? Mac is all the way at the bottom right over here. So he is the one complaining. So, silence, the king of the turtles barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Wow. He wanted 200 turtles. So look what is happening. All the turtles are starting to climb up. Wait, all the turtles in the world? No, the turtle, 200 of them. 200, that's a lot of turtles. Think about that. That's huge. 
All right. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens. Whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up at the stack. Then your little turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yordle. I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds. I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yordle the turtle, oh marvelous me. For I am the ruler of all that I see. You see how high he is, guys? Really, really high. You see that? Very high. But he's not happy yet. He keeps going. Then again from below in the great heavy stack came a groan from the plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you're seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, grown Mac. So all the turtles are getting really tired. There's 200 and something turtles. And they're all complaining. And guess who's suffering the most? Mac. Because he's all the way at the bottom. He has to hold up all this weight. Poor Mac, right? He has to hold He has to hold. Yeah, that's a lot of turtles, right? Poor Mac. Poor Mac. And then he says, you hush up your mouth, hold how the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk over the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds over the land, over the sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the enemy was starting to rise. Up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than you're the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. That's a lot. Poor Mac. Yeah. So, but as you're the little turtle king lifted his hand, and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, the plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough and he had. And that plain little turtle got a little bit mad and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped and his burp shook the throne of the king and guess what happened? Everybody started to drop down. And your little turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of the house and a cow and a mule. Well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For your little king, of all Salamasan, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today, the great Yertle, the marvelous he is, king of the mud, that is all he can see. Do you guys see Yertle right over here? Yeah. So he fell. And as turtle and the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. So, do they know what the moral of the story is? Do you guys know what the word moral means? No. Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe all right. Yeah. What do you guys? There. What do you guys learn from this story? I'm gonna take just a few people here. What do you learn from this story? You should never stack someone to to get higher, because it will get them tired. And that rhymed too. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, that's it. Who else? Yes. Don't stack people with, uh, with um, more people, because they will help out, and then they will help. That's right, what else? You, young lady? Um, never stack turtles, because then they will fall off. That's true. What else? Let's see. Young man with the blue hat over there. You. No. You. That's right. So, what I learned from this story, I learned a few things. I learned number one, 
you need to be kind to all of your people. You need to be kind. You can't use them just for yourself. And you have to be content with what you have. You have to work as a team. If not, you will fall. That's what I learned from this story. So thank you for allowing me to read to you. All right? Thank you so much. And let's give an applause to all of you guys for being